The Juneau Ice Field is the fifth largest expanse of ice in North America. It lies above the temperate coastal rainforest of the Alaskan Panhandle, and some 40 major glaciers fill the valleys of the Coast Mountain Range. As the ice flows down the valleys, enormous crevasses open in the glaciers. The ice field is home to the Juneau Ice Field Research Program. Each summer, a group of college and high school science students spend seven weeks trekking across the glaciers. They live in a series of camps, which are built on granite islands in the ice field, and they move across the glaciers on skis, often in rainstorms and whiteouts, sometimes covering distances of 15 or 20 miles in a day. It's easy to feel isolated on the ice field. It's a vast and unforgiving landscape, and even a small stumble can have nasty consequences. The ice field program owes its start to Dr. Maynard Miller, who first visited the ice field as a young glaciologist in 1946. Miller has returned to the ice field every summer since. He's now in his mid-80s and no longer spends much time on the glaciers, but the program remains the driving force of his life. There are several research projects underway on the ice field. Here, a scientist from Germany surveys glacier depth and movement. Students also dig pits in the snow to measure the annual accumulation and melt. This is an exhausting job. The pits can be as deep as 30 feet. Sometimes researchers even venture under the ice to measure rates of melting. They're finding that like glaciers around the world, most of the glaciers on the Juneau ice field are thinning and retreating. In the past decade, some of these cascades of ice have collapsed, exposing bare mountain cliffs. The Taku Glacier, the largest glacier on the ice field, is an anomaly. It's advancing partly because it begins at a high elevation and is buffered from rising global temperatures. Researchers like Guy Adama study the foot of the Taku where the ice is moving forward. But studies higher up in the glacier suggest that the Taku won't be protected from global warming for long. The students in the Juneau Ice Field Research Program live in an extreme environment. They navigate dangers every day, even on a routine trip across the glaciers. Their research might take them on a steep 2,000-foot climb into the Gilkey Trench, or it might take them to Camp 8, the most isolated camp on the ice field. Andy Young is the ice field program mechanic, and he served for several years as the director of field science support in Antarctica. He sees many ice field graduates put their skills to work at the South Pole. Though you spend a lot of time being tired, dirty, and cold on the ice field, students and instructors come back year after year. They love the companionship and the landscape, and it's easy to see why. After a week of rain, the sky will clear, and if you're lucky, you'll get to see the northern lights. For the Pulitzer Center, this is Michelle Nyhaus.